Hello, um, this is Phoenix and it's been a while since we had an Irish setter in training. Oh, and he's a delightful little chap once he learned how nice it is to be a companion dog. From a wild beast that used to run away, uh, Phoenix has been hand fed for about 10 days now. So the 10 days hand feeding has resulted in this. The only command he came uh, to us, sort of responding to, was this. FIX! FIX! <laughs> and that was just hilarious to watch. A totally confused dog, not really knowing what to do. So Phoenix was put on a hand feeding. Despite the owner's objections that he doesn't do food and he doesn't really feed outside of the house, Phoenix started feeding on his day three and ever since has not skipped not just a meal but a single kibble. So. I'm making a point of using his main food rather than treats, even though I have a few of them prepared as well. So, uh, dry kibble, we have about 300 of those ready, and most of them I will be giving just one by one, but to be honest, for the you know, sake of uh, hand feeding sometimes, I save myself a lot of time giving the whole handful, five, six of them, right there in one go. It takes a little bit longer to chew, but the whole point is I am the source, I am the provider. Right, so Phoenix is right here learning. Phoenix, good boy. Phoenix, good boy. Phoenix. And if anybody ever wonders what it is all the dog whispering is about, it's not about the whispering, but though saying that, I would be whispering Phoenix and rewarding him, making him absolutely hooked on the Phoenix, good boy, on a very quiet, um, calm and relaxed commands and this is the whole point of the train so he's getting adjusted to me the way I am and I'm very quiet I'm very sort of slow uh, sort of giving the commands and you know doing the moderate instructions there right so there we go so to start with it's a simple alphabet one day well I'll pick up a little bit of a dance bit and we'll be doing this to a particular good boy come on Phoenix particular bit uh, left and right and left and right and a little pivot good boy and pivot the other way now everything is done to a precision uh, I would once again slow down and get him to finish each move so he learns the only way to success is to do exactly what he's told how he's told to do that right um, as I said to start with it was just simply the matter of me delivering the food so now he has to make a little effort in order to get to this food Phoenix come good boy come good boy come good boy one thing at a time will result in his vocabulary build up Phoenix come good boy um, which again over 10 days two sessions a day so we're talking 20 sessions about 300 kibbles each well do your math so Phoenix has learned to do a lot a lot of really cute commands so let's move on with his vocabulary build up spin and twirl good boy Phoenix and in good and weave good boy well done Phoenix he's still a little bit struggling with this one steady over Oh yes, no, that was nice. Good man. Maybe I'm struggling more than him with my bow instead. Right, Phoenix, sit. Good man. And down. Good puppy. And sit. Well done. And he took the whole two days to master this. Stand. Good boy. As you can see, I teach the stand as the sort of backup kind of thing, straightening up the back legs. Good boy. Okay, Phoenix. Uh, oops, something's come back. Right, chop chop. And down. Right. He's a beautiful little man there. Good boy. I love working setters. Honestly, they're not the quickest thinkers in the world. Well, we don't really rush into anything. But we had time to introduce a stay. Good boy and stay. So several hundred of repetitions of this sort resulted in the following. Phoenix, this way. Good man. Phoenix, stay. Good boy. Stay. I love that. We've been polishing this up for the last three days. He used to get up every single time I'm behind him, stay. He would 
trying not to check what's going on behind him. Steady there. So now, Phoenix Man, good boy. He's quite comfortable with me manipulating, walking, pacing, jumping. Good boy. Stay means exactly that. He gets paid for it. Now, since yesterday, he started doing this down and stay. So now we mix and match stay. Putting two, three commands together and he lets me step over him now. Stay, well, most of the time. And that was a success. Bingo. Right. Uh, somebody asked me yesterday, so what's the whole point of all this? The point is to get a dog that likes thinking and following my instructions and living the life in compliance with what it is that we want them to do. So Phoenix is learning to be that dog that is very easy to manipulate, just like you would have a remote control in your pocket. Phoenix this way, good boy, Phoenix this way, and he would be choosing to perform the behavior which I'm instructing him to do. Now, the point of the simple following exercise is very trivial. I honestly, despite the dogs pulling on the lead, now tell me, why would the hand-fed dog want to pull on the lead? Phoenix, this way, and heel. So, now, it doesn't really matter which way I choose to walk. I don't have to pull him. I don't have to force him to do anything. Good, ready, heel. Good, Phoenix. Well done. Heel. And the best thing of all, not so much there's no pressure on the lead. It is light, it is easy. But watch that tail. He's become a dog that loves the heel work. You would ask, what is it to like? <laughs> the price, the price tag that comes with it. Phoenix, heel. Good boy, Phoenix, heel. Hey, nice, and heel. Well, that wasn't exactly the position, was it? Come on, Phoenix, Phoenix, this way, this way. Nice, and now we will still finish it. Yes, to my specs. Good boy, that is the position. Right, anyway, as you can see, with or without the lead, he's choosing to do exactly the same thing, so it's not really important. Now, uh, another great advantage of the hand feeding is this. With or without the food, dogs tend to enjoy following you and your instructions. So this way or that way becomes just as easy when you don't have any food on you. So Phoenix knows I don't have anything on me. Phoenix, how about going between the legs? That was lovely. Uh, right, back to the point of building up his vocabulary. This is a very cute exercise, isn't it? Tick, tick, tick. Oh, we call it army crawl. <laughs> He's hilarious, isn't he? And we're still polishing this up. Down and flat. Cimini, good boy. Good boy, that's a very good flat. Good boy, I like that tail. Well done, pup. And now... Flat the other way. Yeah, no, I've seen that one before. Good boy. That was awesome. And as you can see, I'm feeding at will. Have another hundred left there, probably. Something like that. Good. Tini, turn sideways so that we can see what you're doing. I want a paw. I love that. Tini, the other paw. <laughs> you anticipate. And the other. And the other. Good boy. So stop putting your nails up. And little back there. That's the bag with the assistance, not the wrong one, just slightly different. This is a bag with no assistance. Now the balance takes time, so no newcomer will do this beautifully, unless they are sort of small square terriers. For a setter to do this, it is, up, up. good boy, it is quite an achievement, big. oh bless you. Yes I know we go through it a bit faster than we usually do. Good boy. Well done, Vinny. Now, he did have a lot of reluctant responses to start with. Some of the positions, for some reason, he didn't fancy following. So, let's say, once I found some of the tender spots, if you like, we started working on those. And he's been fed by a, by a couple of people only. Uh, so, he now allows everybody to do this. Hey, right. Good boy, Phoenix. So now, as you can see, we are running really low on it. So uh, with this speed, when people say that we don't have time for it, I honestly don't know what they're talking about. Right, just a couple of more things there. Phoenix, come. 
I love that. You remember the big turn and twist when the dog would go around you? We call it round. Guess what happens? Phoenix come. That's beautiful. Phoenix, finish. Huh? Into the heel position. Well, more or less the heel position. And round. I love that little man. Now, good boy. Left or right hand side. That's entirely up to him. Now, Phoenix, follow me. That's your little bit of a heel work exercise. Now, what we've tried and started doing it outside already, I put my hands away. Come on, Phoenix, heel. And Phoenix learns heel to follow Phoenix. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. To follow me rather than the hand with biscuit, which is the whole idea. Biscuits are just a translator, a dictionary, if you like. Good boy. I'll get you some water in a minute. You just had the ball with you and it's a minute to go. Right, let's come here. Now, you notice that uh, during the last, what, six, seven minutes, he hasn't left my side. This dog could be worked for a couple of hours, and now his attention span is incredibly strong. So, which for me is a delightful procedure. So, I guess he's pretty much at the end of the introductory hand feeding. So, the owners are back next week, and I bet they will be surprised and probably wouldn't have to say, Hey, come! Boy, can stay. How about coming here, boy? Oh, I find that way so much easier and so much nicer. And the tail, the tail doesn't stop. Right, guys, one little trick, which I always use in the hand feeding sessions. Well, Gary Wilkes, long time ago, came up with a principle called Extras for Excellent. Has he been good? I would give him 10 out of 10 and he's trying. I always top it up with something really fun. Oh, this is a lovely smoked sausage. And Phoenix says, whoa, for that, I would certainly work. So now he will know that it's not just the boring everyday's food that you'll get. Being really good, he is likely to expect something much greater. Going to a park, I'll probably stick one of those into my pocket. And guess what? I bet he won't leave my side. Alright guys, thank you all very much for watching and goodbye. Come on.